Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of I Love Juicy Couture, the second spin-off to last year's, or second in the line of last year's I Am Juicy Couture, technically the first um, flanker of I Am Juicy Couture. So this launched this year, 2016, and um, is supposed to represent like the rebellious side. This was on HSN. It's exclusively available through them first, um, and will be available other places eventually. Um, I will say that I know some of you guys, you know, were hoping that my next review would be um, Katy Perry's Mad Love, which I do have. It's right up, right, right, right there. Right, 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 right there. Right there, right there, right there. Um, but, unfortunately, due to circumstances, um, I don't have the notes for it yet, and I'm still trying to get the notes for it, like the official pyramid. Um, once I get that, you guys definitely will be getting the review from that. So... Um, little issue I had with this bottle, and I'll get to that in, when I get to it. So, the box looks like this time, and it says, I Heart Juicy Couture. It's kind of got like, this hand-drawn heart with this leopard print around the box. The main part of the box being black. Then it just says Juicy Couture Eau de Parfum Spray 3.4 ounce on the bottom. It's got that Juicy Couture logo on the top. And then, your bottle looks like this this time. And it's, you know... Like the last one where it's that upside down crystal. And then it just says, um, it's going to be really hard to focus. Um, I love Juicy Couture, like that. Um, and then you've got like the cheetah print all the way around the bottle. And then you've got the reversed JC on the bottom so that like it kind of reflects up into the bottle so you can see it. Um, when I got my bottle, and although it is kind of deceiving right now, um, I don't know if you guys can see that. First off, my liquid's a little low. It leaked a little bit in the box, um, and my topper was broken off. It looks like this. Um, I can put the topper back on, but my first biggest pet peeve about this whole thing is I'm going to compare toppers from last year's I Am to this year's I Love, and I will show you guys where my issue majorly lies. So... Here is the I Love Juicy Couture topper. Here is the um, I Am Juicy Couture topper. Now, on first look, without them being side by side, you can't really tell a difference. If I put them side by side, like this, uh, we'll do it this way. First off, you can definitely tell that this one is plastic and this one's metal. Um, you can, like, this has more of a, this one has a little bit more of a matte finish, this one has more of a glossy finish, and this is, like, if I were to take this and hit against my tripod, like, it's a strong metal. If I were to hit it, like, like, that's plastic, that's metal. Um, and it really actually bothers me that they skimped that much on the, uh, the bottle change, like, you no, know, they put all this money into the fragrance and the bottle and all this other stuff, but there's no money put into this lid. I feel like this lid was very cheap. Like, this is the I Am Juicy Couture lid, and it feels so much more sturdy. This feels like when I pull it off, I would break it. It feels like the plastic's hollow, and that actually really, really bothers me, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, but... That's, I mean, it is what it is. You can't really say much. Um, Note-wise, okay, so let's go to the notes. Top notes are fresh mandarin, taffy apple, red currant. Middle notes are tiger lily, jasmine petals, and pink honeysuckle. With base notes of patchouli, whipped amber, and captive musks. So, this one is a little bit more, a little different than the previous one. When you first spray it, 
Um, honestly, that patchouli comes out, but it's not like the patchouli that's in, excuse me, Fancy Night or any, it's not like a really heavy patchouli. It's kind of a eerie or cleaner patchouli. Um, and I feel like the musk does play a little bit into that. But as it starts to dry down, I do get that taffy apple. It's not like DKNY Be Delicious apple where it's that really kind of like bite crisp apple. This is more of a seductive red apple with just a little bit of candiness to it. Um, this perfume is very seductive in my opinion. It's very edgy. It's very, it's sweet, but it's not like sicky candy sweet. I feel like this is more of a adult sweet than a kid sweet. It's definitely not Britney Spears fantasy sweet. Um, I will say that the perfume does remind me of something, but I can't pull it off right off hand. Like, it's not super unique, but it's not super different. Um, and it's not like, oh my god, instant, like, you spray and you smell, like, it reminds you of something. Um, I do get that floral heart, though. Um, the Tiger Lily, as you guys know, I love when Tiger Lily is in a note, or in a perfume. It adds a kind of, just a prettiness to a fragrance. Um, there's actually Tiger Lily in Menage the Exotic, which is one of my favorite, favorite fragrances. So it kind of just adds this very pretty airiness to the fragrance. The honeysuckle is in there. I definitely get a little bit of that floral honeysuckle and definitely some of that jasmine. Um, but the florals are not super strong. What I'm definitely getting is kind of a candied patchouli. Um, which, the patchouli is not bad. I will say that. You guys know I hate patchouli. I cannot stand patchouli. And I do like the patchouli that they used in this. It is a very different patchouli than the most ones that are out on the market. I definitely feel like this is more geared toward the fall, as this isn't supposed to launch counter-wide until the end of the summer, so more August time. Um, and I definitely feel like this is more of a fall signature daytime um, use. I think if you were going to use it in the summer, um, it would have to be more of a night fragrance, because it is that kind of, it is a little bit heavier, a little bit more seductive, a little more, it kind of draws you in. Um... But, if you were to use it in the fall, I feel like it, you could pull it off as a daytime, fall, and winter scent. Um, my only issue, I would say, with this fragrance is with it being called I Love Juicy Couture, I can see where it gets its DNA from I Am. But I almost wish it was sweeter. Um, I almost wish we got some of the caramel and berry notes that we get in Viva La Juicy. Um, I feel like they could have represented the entire fragrance line um, in one fragrance by, you know, bringing some other, like, if they would have left everything the way it was and thrown in a caramel note and a red berries note, I feel like to add on top of the red currant that's already there, it would have added really well and kind of created a more universal, similar to what Juicy kind of does. The fragrance is very juicy, um, and by that I don't mean it's, like, succulent and like juicy like mouth watering it's very juicy couture juicy um it is very similar to like it, it has that same dna that a lot of the juicy couture fragrances have which is good it i like that because it shows brand power and it shows a consistency across the brand um i just wish if with it being called i love juicy that there was a little extra note or whatever thrown in there to represent the people the juicy line which i guess the red current kind of does and the taffy apple is another way of showing that but i feel like a little bit more could have gone anywhere so there you guys oh lasting power so i actually wore this um i was gonna do the review yesterday last night but i never got around to it um Lasting Power, it does last about 8 hours on me, 8 to 9 hours, not too bad, it's kind of normal for a Viva Juicy, or for a Juicy Couture fragrances, especially with the uh, Eau de Parfums, um, definitely more of a fall fragrance, it doesn't project super far, um, but it is not super close to the skin either, I will say age range is probably mid-20s to on up. I mean, I don't, I wouldn't cap this fragrance at a certain age, but I feel like under the mid-20s, this isn't going to be a fragrance that most people will like. I'm not saying that if you're under 20, you know, mid-20s, you won't like this fragrance, but I'm saying for the most part, it's not going to be something that people who aren't in their mid-20s aren't going to like. So, 
there you guys go. There is my review of I Love Juicy Couture. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Ada S. Perfume, and Instagram, I'm on the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below, as always. And stay tuned. I have some more reviews coming up. Um, the um, Katy Perry's Mad Love will be coming as soon as I get the Pyramid Notes and some other stuff as well. So, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.